man how you guys doing welcome to today's show it was supposed to be about the expanded wall of shame but i'm still waiting for something to get here from amazon so i can do the new format with that so what i decided to do was take a question and i can't show you the damn question because last time i did they jerked it off of youtube that one's over on bit shoot and odyssey it's real important that you have backups creators to your videos because they'll just do that out of the freaking blue but anyway i figure i take this question from the podcast forum which you can get on any one of your podcast platforms like itunes stitcher whatever it is and i i i I have to admit, I haven't been answering so many questions over on the podcast platform because I get a lot of them. But anyway, this one really, really interested me. Now, it was like a page long, so I'm only going to get to, you know, the one part. But he was trying to make a huge argument about why people would do this for a club and that for a club hey hollywood first off thanks for what you do i'm a long time listener to your podcast rock and roll man rock and roll i've got a question for you do you think it's worth it to do prison time for a motorcycle club he went through all kinds of different scenarios, situations. And again, maybe I'll put this on my regular blog, what he put. That way it's easier. I just don't got you know that much time on the show to do it. And I would have to say, what do you mean by doing prison time? Now, I know the examples you put in there. But does that include defending a, another member in a situation where he might need you? Because I didn't see that. I seen where you put, you get, you know, the club was involved in this or that. The problem with that argument was rarely do the clubs know that something's out of whack. And then you would come back and say, well, how wouldn't they know? Well, there's a lot of people that keep stuff under the table for existence. The club I was in, if you got caught doing anything stupid, you were thrown to the streets. They didn't let you do that kind of crap. Why? Because of Rico. That is a hardcore thing on a MC. They don't want you doing anything stupid, and a lot of clubs are like that. I'm not saying clubs are freaking Boy Scouts, but they're not drug kingpins. They're not big-time criminals like a lot of the media wants them projected to be. And I think people have a real problem with understanding that as a news aggregator you're gonna see that stuff but it's not happening on the daily with all clubs that's news around the country canada australia europe so of course you're gonna have stories like that but it's not something that happens every day now you ask me if it's worth it. When I was younger, I might have said, yeah. <laughs> I can guarantee you I would have said, yeah. But as I got older, I looked at some of the situations like, hell no, I wouldn't have. And one of them situations being, say you're at a party, you're having all kinds of fun, but it's time to leave. You're all hopped up. You know you shouldn't get on the bike. And next thing you know, you feel kind of pressured to keep the party going. Now, I have to remind you, it, was, it, it would have been individuals doing that. The club as a whole, 
don't give a shit if you drink or if you do whatever you do to party. So when I was younger, yeah, maybe I could have felt that way and I would have got on the bike. And next thing you know, something bad could have happened, could have gotten a wreck or, you know, wrecked into somebody else. So I wouldn't even say that would have been on behalf of a club. It would have been just stupidity because you felt pressured to do something, which happens everywhere, man. Just not clubs. I think the biggest problem, and I'm not, you know what? I ain't even talking about that episode anymore. Everybody knows which one it is. We're not giving it no more airtime. We're not going to promote it because the old saying is true. Bad publicity is good publicity. And I'm not going to give it the time of day no more. Hell no, not no more after what happened. But they're always going to be put in that light. Because they are so secretive. The media is going to use propaganda to do what, they want the general public to think that and that gets them the hits. So we're not talking about that. Now, you know, because I jotted down some notes here. And if you're talking about what I think you're talking about, because you were real vague in some of your examples, that stuff doesn't happen much anymore. And you'll come back and say, well, you know, the news shows that, again, that is a worldwide type of deal. It happens in each country. So, yeah, you can pick an incident that happened with this club or that club or this club's in the news because it's from all over the world. It's easy to do. 2021 is a whole different time period than say 1994 2021 you have these things right here that are on everybody and by the way you know i seen an interesting poll or a study not a poll but a study that says there's more cell phones than there are people on this uh, planet you can't do anything anymore Nothing whatsoever. That's why I always talk about the argument of it's only a few bad apples that do anything. That's it. You're not going to have an entire club who are mostly disorganized, by the way. Hell, they can't even get off a run on time. But then you're going to say and sit here and call them a criminal organization. You can't even go out and have a fight without it on the internet within five minutes because somebody has a cell phone. And in some uh, stories we covered, like that deal at that one bar in Philadelphia where the cops beat everybody, we were getting the cell phone footage right away. You really think with the technology, if everybody has it in their hands, but with what law enforcement has... They got some tricked out stuff that they to catch you on. Anybody nowadays would be freaking retarded to try anything that was done in the past. Because it ain't plausible and it, you're going to get busted. So that's why you don't see, well, that's why you see a lot of clubs discouraging their members to do some stuff like that. Regardless of what you hear in the media, again, the clubs are not going to sanction that stuff. Uh, my question to you who wrote this would simply be, if you're involved in that kind of stuff, what are you gaining? That's a question that needs to be asked. What are you gaining from it? You can make more money legitimately nowadays than illegitimately. 
without all the damn risk. And for those few bad apples, you got to ask yourself, well, did you come into this for the club? Or did you come in for it, the power of the reputation of the club to make your money? Because if you did the latter, you're really not a brother in the first place, are you? I always argued that doing that kind of stuff brought heat onto the club as a whole. You're not a brother in the first place because you don't care about that. You don't care about bringing heat on. Look at what all the 1% clubs from, you know, the decades old that they've been around had to deal with during that whole time. Cops, cops, cops. And it was never on an organized scale. If you want to be a gangster, then why do you want to be a part of a motorcycle club? And these questions are mostly to what he put in the long reply. You don't join a club to be a gangster because the club's not even on the same level as, say, an outfit or a syndicate mob, whatever you want to call them, or a cartel, regardless what these programs try to tell you. They're not on that level. So trying to gain gangsterism by being in a club, you're in the wrong place. It's a club for a reason. Do you think a cartel or the syndicate or outfit wears patches on their back to proclaim who they are? No, they don't. There is the difference that media never puts. They never put that stuff. Why would criminals and gangsters want to identify who the hell they are or who they're with? It never made sense. And you know what's even more? Clubs never sanctioned that stuff even back the, uh, in the day. They never did that. They never sanctioned it even back then. Were there groups that might have done something within the club? Yeah, but not the club as a whole. You don't join a club to go to prison. That's not what a club's supposed to be about. And that's what most of them are not about so don't mix up what you see in the paper what you hear with the cops to think that's actually true because that's one of the things that really really pissed me off about that one show is that's all they were out for nothing more they were out to show clubs in a bad light and didn't even show any other side of the story. It was all about trying to figure out if what one club said in the beginning, because if you follow the whole thing, it was all about trying to figure out if the clubs were in a drug trade. Again, if you can't even get a, a, a club ride off in time on schedule, you sure ain't organized like they're trying to make you out to be. I just, I guess it depends on the situation and I guess it depends on what your goals are, where you've been, uh, what you want to do in that club. I don't know. But all I can think of is, yeah, there might have been a situation or two like I brought up where you might be feeling pressure to go continue to party or something like that and you go out there and get stupid and get drunk, then you regret it, yeah. But as far as the dirty stuff, man, no, come on. You're not in it in a club for that. You're doing that on your own because the club isn't sanctioning that stuff. You shouldn't even be using your club's name if you're into that stuff. That's in a lot of these bylaws. Don't use the club's name. Don't use the club's property if you're doing something dirty. 
that's what I got for, you know, an answer to that one. Let me know what you guys think in the, the comments section below. We're going to continue this party on the other side over on the podcast platform. There's a link where you can go to iHeartRadio if you want to go there. Spotify, iTunes, it's everywhere. Uh, the second half, uh, we, we've been going about a half hour to an hour on these podcasts now. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit the Roku and Fire TV as well as join us on Instagram. We do a lot of videos over there, motorcycle uh, related as far as accidents so you guys don't freaking kill yourselves. Check it out. Link's right there. Talk to you later. Rock on, baby. To the extent that pending criminal matters are discussed on this website or YouTube channel, all such charges are merely accusations and all defendants are presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty in a court of law.